Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about state machines. State machine is a powerful concept in programming and computer science that lets you model a system that's behaviors changes on this particular state that it's in. So the easiest way to describe a state machine is to use an example. If you can imagine we have a video player that has three buttons, a start, a stop, and a pause. Each of these buttons when pressed based on the state that the video is currently in will have a different effect on the video. So if we start with our video in the stop state and you press the play button, we will transition to the playing state and the video start playing. Pressing the pause button will transition the system to a pause state and the video will pause. And then lastly, pressing the stop button will transition the system to a stopped state and then the video will stop. One of the great things about a state machine is you don't have to get hung up on complex Boolean logic to describe the different situations you're in. You're really breaking it down into two simple concepts, which is the state that the system is in and then transitions which is what changes the state to another situation. It's an input from an external source. In our case with the video machine, it's the button. It's the input from the external source that changes the state. It's worth noting that the inputs may have different effects depending on which state you're in or may not have any effect at all. Our video is already in the stop state. Pressing the stop button will have no effect at all. However, pressing the stop button when the video is in a playing state will transition the video from playing to stopped. State machine also makes it really easy to add new states and new transitions. Well, let's say we wanted to add an additional button for fast forward or a button for rewind. We could have two new states, rewinding and fast forwarding. We, we could transition from our stop state to a fast forward state, for example. Our, our logic and our code base inside each of the existing states wouldn't change, which makes things very easy to maintain and add new states. And that's really all there is to a state machine. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video you can try one of my others and I hope to see you in the next video.